this is Quindor from Intermittent Technology and I want to give you a first tour of the house we're currently building especially focused on all the IT related systems that, that are going to go in there as you can see this is our garage we don't really have a roof yet but we're mid construction so <laughs> it'll be okay and this is already the first spot which will be interesting these are the pipes which run to various places in the house which will be part of my ESP8266 PWM LED based lighting system and all the power and microcontrols will be housed on this wall more about that in future videos and this is where our solar edge three phase power inverter will go it should provide about 8000 8, kilowatt hours a year which should be sufficient for the whole house depending on how much the electric car uses etc and this is where our valiant heat pump solution will go that will also be a big power draw but it's better than using gas and our government has some interesting uh, programs for that this year so we decided to go with that and uh, well hopefully it will, it'll, it'll perform well in the back of the garage there's a room for me <laughs> This will be the hardware tinkering room. And as you can see over here, we have lots of sockets in the wall. It's to bring two power groups together and eight network connections so that I can house servers over here. I can do e uh, HDMI over Ethernet, uh, KVM over Ethernet, and well, basically anything I'll need. And two power groups is always good if you're tinkering with stuff and you know, you make a short circuit. At least you don't blow the whole house out. <laughs> okay, if we continue, we go through the garage to the hallway. And, well, as you can see, the hallway is still very much in construction. And if we look up, this is our amazing stairs. And if you look up there, well, there's a few sticks of wood, but there's nothing much there yet. The concrete has been poured. Oh, I'll give you a quick look. Okay, upstairs. So this is above the kitchen, above the living room. It's a big living room. And then above the office where we're going in a bit. This is an older video I shot with my smartphone. And here you can see the first floor without the concrete being poured. As you can see, there's lots of pipes going absolutely everywhere. And it looks like one giant mess, but it cleaned up very nicely when the concrete was poured. There's a lot of pipes in this floor. We actually had to change the construction a little bit, but they poured it and it's safe and constructually sound. So, hey, it works. <laughs> okay, so over here is our wiring closet, or at least the normal wiring, wiring closet you find in a normal house. And this is where the AC and DC power goes. Yes, we have AC power like any normal house, but we also have a DC network running through the house so that I can power ESPs and microcontrollers and other sensors or whatever I might need to, well, use in my projects through the house. More about that in new videos, so be sure to subscribe and like and, you know, all the good YouTube stuff. And we're now in the living room. As you can see, we're still really in the middle of building stuff, but there's pipes everywhere for network and for power and all that kind of stuff. A 
Uh, this wall also has a lot of power, network, several groups. All, everything we could need in the future. Okay, and if we continue on, there's a little office next to the living room. And here I will do, oh, new videos, I guess, work. And, I don't know, future projects. This will be where the desk will go. I plan on building a custom desk, so it will hug the wall tightly. And then if we look up, there are all the network pipes that run through the house come together here. And yes, there's a lot of them. I believe there's over 50. There's two groups coming together. Because the uh, power groups, because this is also where the patch cabinet will go. It'll hold patch panels, switches, routers, stuff like that. And it'll be high up to the ceiling to, uh, well, block the pipes. And it, it'll also, uh, well, hang above the desk. But it shouldn't interfere with the desk. So that should be a neat space saving solution. Or at least I hope. They're all still future plans. So as I said, be sure to subscribe and like. Follow how we build the house, how I do stuff with the IT, with the lighting and the heat pump and the solar converter and connect it all together. And well, we'll see where it goes. Hope to see you soon.